of you are familiar with that word, but what is in your head about that word? For me, personally, batik is one of the golden heritage from my homeland. Batik is an art which is painted on the clothes that is given with such as various motifs. It can be flora, fauna, puppets, or complementary dogs on the cloth. Then, we use a tool called chapting filled with special plasticine that has been heated to be inscribed on the cloth. So, the motif that has been made earlier is overwritten again according to the lines of the motif that has been made before. This long and complicated process makes batik a unique fabric that not everyone can understand the meaning and value behind them. Some of you may think, is batik included into a local wisdom? Isn't it a national heritage and not referred to just one city? The answer is yes! Batik can be interpreted as both ancestral heritage and local wisdom. Why? Because the motif on the batik cloth is represent the region where each batik is made. For the example, the popular motif Mega Mendung from Java. Together with me, Kamelia Ramaramdani from SMK Krian Dua Sidoarjo will guide you in a video entitled Youth Involvement to Preserve the Local Wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, the best thing that has ever happened to me is I can take a role in preserving the local wisdom and not everyone can make. From the opportunity I took, I know that Batik is not only understand the meaning and value behind it, but also can express our feelings when we are making. The existence of Batik itself is timeless. Why? Because they are still got popular when we are have been entered the 4.0 era or commonly called the era of technology. Did you know that batik divided into two types? Traditional written batik and modern printed batik. The first one, traditional written batik is made with human labor which is the same as what I described it before. On the other hand, modern printed batik is made with sophisticated technology. They both have the same meaning, even they are have different different process of made. It's proof that batik continues to evolve due to new ideas of Indonesian citizens to keep preserving batik. But even though there are so many modern technologies that make us easier to preserve the local wisdom, are we, young people, both to inherit it? What is happening today is, youth will not be moved and don't mind to take initiative to contribute in preserving local wisdom if there is no good benefit for themselves. That's how I feel too anyway. So, how we can overcome this? Ladies and gentlemen, today, I will show you how exciting it is to have a role to preserve the local wisdom and good benefits that can be reaped from this activity. The first one, to bond your nationalism. According to the Indonesian Dictionary, nationalism is the understanding to love one's own nation and country. The more we preserve the local wisdom, the more we recognize the diversity of Indonesia. As well as attract the foreign tourists, it will be fun anyway if you can have a role in promoting your local cultural and your local wisdom of your respective cities. There is so much good benefits in this activity, not only for the country, but also for ourselves. Therefore, we students, who are young men and women of the Indonesia, need to contribute in these good beneficial things like this. Why do I mention young people? Because of their spirit, because of their creativity, and because of their new ideas that is so much needed to preserving the local wisdom. 
to be recognized either by domestic tourists or foreign one. I have taken a role in this activity. Now it's your turn to do that. So, what are you waiting for? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that what I have been describing before can be interpreted well by all of you. And also, I hope that it will move your little heart to take initiative in this activity that is considered trivial but has a big impact. I take my leave. Thank you for your attention. Thank <music> you.